All right, so very last second-ish of me, I decided to drive to Kelowna where the After Hour crew guys live, the guys that did our wrap on the 240 and they produce our merchandise and stuff. I'm about to head from the Washington border. Well, I'm about to go from Washington to Canada and I have my scooter in here. Somehow I fit my fucking Yamaha jog into my Corolla and the title situation on this on this scooter is a little sketchy so honestly I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to get over the, the border so I'm gonna leave the GoPro running and see like if anything goes down while I'm here or I'm just I'm hoping they just let me go right on through don't even ask any questions but this looks kind of funny so I'm kind of expecting some questions so uh, I guess you guys are just gonna find out with me and we'll go along for the ride here also, the after hours guys don't know I'm coming, so that's gonna be fun to surprise them. I got in the line that takes the fucking longest. So you know this guy's a stickler. Like, way, way longer than any other line. Hello. How's it going? Where do you live, sir? Black Diamond, Washington. I'm going to Kelowna to visit my buddies. For the weekend. Do they live there, or are you, they're visiting there as well? Oh, they live there. Are they Canadian? Yeah. And how do you know that? Uh, they actually produce the merchandise that we make for uh, our business. It's called More Skids. So you, we make YouTube videos, and then we sell like T-shirts and stuff. They're the designers of that merchandise. And what do you have in your vehicle right now? Uh, just clothes, moped. And that's about it. So what do you do for work? The YouTube videos. Yeah. So how do you make a living doing that? Is people click on it? Yeah, it's like ad revenue. We get that and then also selling the t-shirts and hats and stuff. How long and then you that? uh full time for like a year now. Started like five years ago. But it, it varies depending on how much like merch we sell that year or like how many designs we come up with or how many videos we produce. Yeah, it's me and another guy. We still live at home right now, so we're kind of working towards getting out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it's kind of the dream. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. No questions about the moped, just fucking chilling. Well, here we go, we're going to Kelowna, BC now. No more borders to cross, except the one on the way back, I guess. We'll have to see how that goes. I'll update you guys when we get towards Kelowna. Okay, so I've actually been here for like two days now. I made it here, I surprised everyone. Uh, they, when I pulled up, uh, they were having dinner, so I didn't wanna like film the surprise and everything. But uh, everyone was super happy to see me, which was great. I was scared that it might be like a bad time for me to be here, but it turns out it's perfect. It was a long weekend and uh, everything went great. And yesterday we scooted everywhere and I got a bunch of really good footage from, the, from that. So I'm gonna put that in and let you guys watch a bunch of the scoop footage. Um, hopefully it'll be good. I'll put some music over it and I think it should actually be pretty awesome because I had the chest mount on and we had like 10 scooters total. It was like insane. Uh, you could actually see all the scooters here. An actual chop shop of scoots around these parts. Um, which brings me to what I'm doing right now. Oh, actually, so I'll put that those clips in now. You guys can watch that. And then uh, after that's all done, get to what I'm doing with my scooter right now. I'm 
I've got the only closed face helmet. <laughs> That's fun. That security guard there? Oh, oh was there? Naked. I didn't see him. Yeah, right as I go through that, there's a security guard. Wow. <laughs> I'm not trying to get fucked, dude.
Okay, so I hope you I hope you enjoyed that little montage of scoot action. I'm gonna put the chest mount back on and get to work on my scooter. I've been having problems with it this weekend. I believe there was something in the fuel. Actually, I don't believe there was something in the fuel tank. I know there was something in the fuel tank because I pulled this out of it. I'm not sure what this is exactly but it was sitting in my fuel tank and I think it was as the fuel pump was sucking fuel, this was getting stuck inside. The scooter was like bogging out. So I pulled it all apart, pulled all the plastics off. Um, I'm just putting the fuel tank back on now. Uh, so I haven't bolted it in or anything yet. So I'm gonna do that um, and then start it up and hopefully drive it around and test it out and uh, see if it works. Find out everyone's at work right now because it's Tuesday. The long weekend's over and uh, I'm actually going to stay here tonight and then probably leave in the morning. I was stressing out because I couldn't find my keys, which would mean I would have to stay here until I found them, but I just found them, so we're good on that. So I'm going to start putting this thing back together. I'll do my best to get all of it in the shot. Also when I pulled this off, there's a spider living inside of it. Kind of freaked me out. I would also like to talk for a second about, I don't know what you would call it really, maybe being spontaneous or spontaneously adventurous, but I've been feeling very cooped up and, I don't know, restless, I guess is the right word. I've decided that I want to travel the country on a bicycle this coming spring. I've talked to Charles about it and uh, he's down to do it. I've just been feeling like I want to go do stuff. Like, I don't want to be stuck around doing the same old shit all the time. I want to travel the country and travel the world and like see everything because I've realized, I've always known, but I've come to the harsh realization, I guess more of a understanding that this is the one life I got and I don't want to, I don't want to miss out on anything that I know would be entertaining and just a blast for me to do. So I'm going to try to do everything that I want to do. And uh, that kind of ties into why I came up here this weekend. I, uh, I miss adventure and I threw this scooter in my uh, Corolla because I wanted to go on an adventure and I drove six and a half hours to get to here in Canada and that's not much really at all but there's still a sense of adventure in just small trips like that and I think that's super important for someone like me who feels a need for that and I'm happy to be here even if it was only for a couple days and really random a random trip with nothing really planned it's been a lot of fun and I think a lot more people should seek adventure and they might become more happy in life. Also, I want to show you guys what I was doing with these. Uh, I got all of these little screws and nuts and I put them down on the ground in the formation that they go back on the scooter. So these two go to these, these two holes. These two go up here on these. And so like kind of how the scooter is built, I have these laid out. It just helps when you're putting things back together. I think I should probably start the scooter now and see if it runs before I put everything back together because I might have switched up the vacuum and the fuel line. I don't know if that's bad to start it when you do that, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so it starts, that's good. I also just saw a bug down here. That's fucking terrifying. What the hell? Spooky. Okay, so basically now I just gotta reassemble all the plastics and shit. I'm gonna take it for a test ride right now. See if it's still starving of fuel at like top end is what it was doing last night. And uh, it was also just shutting off randomly when I was at like a stop sign or whatever. Okay, so it's still shutting off on its own. Yeah, I'm good. 
He's trying to get it to start. I'm, I'll just push it back. I'm right up the hill. Thank you. Well, it's not fixed yet. These things are incredibly simple to work on and to modify and everything and super cheap. I recommend everyone get an 80s moped. Aside from them being cheap and easy and uh, like just real, really accessible, they are so much fun. I don't think I've ever had as much fun with friends um, that's not on a racetrack dri as I do driving around the town that these guys live in. Just everyone ripping their scoots. Pussy money, money, weed. Yada, 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 got 